Hello and welcome everyone in another episode of Let's Try. We are playing the Slore Minister. Uh, in this episode, uh, I wanted to give update on my build. Uh, because in the last episode I was switching around, thinking about stuff, like what to do and such. And I kind of changed my build. I didn't like do the stats on my gear because I want to save it for the crafting episode. But... I switched up my skills, did some adjustments like to the trees and such to make it for my clones basically. And the big part is that they are uh, using the obliteration ray. As you can see, I got it to the master level 9, almost 10, but I'm not gonna use this one because I don't need it because I'm not casting it. My, my mobs or my clones are casting the, the rays, so. That's relatively like easy to do. Like currently, uh, let, let's go from here. So this one is the obvious one. This one could be good, but I don't think it's necessary. I think the critical strike silence is more beneficial. This one is no brainer. This one is OP, I believe. This one is good just for the defense. Here is the first clone that you want to get. Uh, you can get this one, but you don't need that here. This one is much better than this one because I'm not using the arcane bond. And here, if you don't need the clone, you can go here, and it's perfectly fine. Uh, it depends on your mana region, basically. If you have enough mana region, you can run free. And if you don't have enough mana region, you probably want this one. So it depends. Also, it depends on the staff as well or the weapon that you are using because the current one that i'm using consumes a lot of mana so this one is kind of hard to deal with but it provides such a huge defense for my build that it's pretty good so i was switching between like three clones and the defense if i go to the higher levels i want this because i can survive longer especially against the ghost because they can one shot me with my free khp so <laughs> that's a thing and yeah if i feel like i need damage i can do this but it's only for a i can use it in expeditions because they make my mana like boom really really quickly so this is better for expeditions as well so that's it for this one like you can change some things here and there like depending on your build but yeah i don't need it so that's the thing. So here, so we uh, first I had this one, so my clothes can rotate faster, but they actually rotate really, really quick, so I don't need it at all. Uh, this one is for the defense, but this one is for the damage, and you need that because, yeah, you need the damage. Here, I was using this one for the slow, and it's really helpful like, against the X guys and like some speed up elites. Or when they have Cataclysm on them in the expeditions, but I was like, I don't need it, I need more damage, so I dropped this. This one can be good, but it's similar case, I guess. And this one, I guess you can see it gives zero damage, but since the guys are draining your mana so quickly, and the more you have them, like if you have three of them, your mana goes boom really quick. And if you use like other skills on top of it, you are basically out of mana, so this gets huge damage increase, so this is really good. From this one, you don't need the range on the mobs, because you have like any, a lot of them here, you don't need overdrive, and you just wanna do damage, because the closer the enemies are to your guys, basically, to your clones, the more damage it will do. So that's really good. Here, uh, you don't need the uh, inner fire, this one could be probably good. I feel like, but it's for solo casting, and our bill is about clones now, so we definitely want this. Here, this could be good as well, but eh, I don't need that, so yeah. From the last row, I mentioned it uh, in the last episode briefly, I believe. Uh, this one, we don't need that one. Here, we are not moving, the clones are staying, so this one. Four rays. They do less damage, but they cover a huge portion of the screen. And if you have like three clones up, 
they go nuts. Like, like it's such a chaos that it, it's way too dank. I can't understand like what's going on sometimes on the screen. So yeah, <laughs> kind of crazy. And for the last one, I was still having this because the the orb deals a lot of damage against the like heavy HP elites. But I was like, you know what? Like, I'm kind of managing the mana, so let me switch. And I switched for the Arcane Bridge again, but I changed it up a little bit. The first one is still the same for the mana, you need that. Here I changed from this one because, I mean, we don't use Arcane bo uh, Bond, but yeah, I didn't want this for increased mana. So instead, I have reduced the cooldown time, but it deals no longer damage. And you don't need that damage actually. It could be good, but you don't need that. Uh, here, this one is obviously good, but you need to deal damage to the enemy to get the stacks, and you don't deal damage with this, so I had to switch. And the only reasonable one is this one, like you can TP. I don't know, like maybe some of them would be good, but. Uh, like, yeah, you. Yeah, this, this is like a weird one, so yeah. Here you don't want this, like it, it will last less and you want it to actually last longer because you can have this one and it will increase the attack speed of your clones which are super like fast ticking with the ray. This one was good but this one oh my god and this yeah we don't we don't need that. Here it's a utility skill basically, so it provides buff for your guys, TP for you, it gives you mana, uh, and it pulls enemies. So it's like a utility skill on top. I don't use it all the time because it still costs mana because of my current weapon, but sometimes when I feel like I need a little bit of boost of damage or CC to like card control the enemies, this is really really helpful. So yeah, it's basically a support skill. I might switch this one up depending on like what I can do with this or this or who knows, maybe even this one or the book smash, but probably this one will stay if I stay with the clone so far. Uh, from here, like other specializations are not good for the clones, so I didn't try them. Like obviously it gives more mana, but you can have only one clone, then I'm... That's... It's not so good. Like you, if you're gonna go clowns, you want more. So yeah, that's the skills. Uh, also, I didn't switch my gear yet, but I have been slowly collecting some items here, as you can see, with minion damage, minion damage, minion damage, minion damage, and minion damage. Like I found a few, and I may recraft some of them if I gonna switch. Uh, not yet, but I think that will be um, a thing to do later. And also in the crafting episode, I will change my gear because uh, here the arcane bridge, like now I am currently using it, which is fine, but it doesn't deal damage, so I don't need it. I would rather get it into the 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 ray and is it the only one. Yeah, there was the only one. No, oh, this one. As well, yeah, the all man. I don't use the wall now, so I can switch it. And yeah, that will be later talk for the episode, so it's it, it's completely fine. Uh, also, I have like, as you can see, I have almost like I have three qu quarters of the million. So when I get that, I will do the crafting episode. So maybe tomorrow, or maybe the day after that. I I'm not sure. Like depends how it goes. Uh, here I want to close the temple. Yep, it was like small, but I need like twice to almost or both to level 100, I believe. I don't know, something like that. So I have a lot of pure slurm to spend. So let's go with that. Uh, here, let's go. As you can see, we have 17,000. That's actually nuts. And I was thinking of getting this buff. As you can see, we are up to floor 104, so we actually get higher. I completely forgot about that. 
<sighs> what do we want? What do we want here? I think the pure slotum is the way to go. At least 10. And then I want to get two here and some here. And the rest will go into this one. And I can't use it anymore. So that's the case. Uh, this costs 200 and this costs what? 500? Wow. Okay, never mind. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna level this up. Can I do this? Nope. Can I do this? Nope. Okay. Yeah, uh, I might do this one. Get like a bunch of stacks basically. And then later on, if I have like 50 of them or whatever, I will just buy all of them and here as well. But first, I wanna go to, for the pure slums. Like now we have 26%, which is nice. And yeah, we still wanna upgrade and we need pure slum. Like, ha like, hell of a lot of pure slum. As you can see, also my staff. I'm still leveling this weapon, this is completely bonkers. Uh, as you can see, it gives us a bunch of mana, a bunch of raw damage, it gives us early damage, it gives a dot on the enemies, it's absolutely insane for the damage, at least for now. So I will, when I try out different ones and their primordial versions, I will see how that goes with the build that I will be playing currently. But yeah, the downside is the 5% of the mana is consumed whenever you cast the skill, so everything costs 5%. Like, you can see, like, I can do one clone, I wait, I do second clone, do this one to buff them, do the third clone, and the mana is going down. So, if, and if you are spamming in the expedition, and if, in every room you need to get, like, a new clone, it's it builds up, it builds up, like, very fast so that's not really nice <sighs> also what else what else yeah like the extra slurm that i have i was thinking of upgrading like stuff here because if the patch drops and they update something i probably want to get the outer layer so i was thinking of maybe spending like for example here like I will take just this one and where was it? This. I'll just do this one and just invest because I mean now I have abundance kinda. So if that will be the case, I can just go around and upgrade like a bunch of my things. But I don't think this is as necessary. So I'm gonna stick for what I have. And maybe spend some points actually in here because like this is level 1 of 10, this is 0, this is 4. Like I want to upgrade all the trees basically here probably. And this one as well so I can switch anytime whenever I want for the stuff that I will be doing currently. And it goes for all the skills. So yeah, we will be spending a bunch of slurm but... Uh, I mean, I can do it even now, but oh, what am I gonna what am I gonna upgrade here? Like I have this, so uh, let's just spend a bunch. Like we want this because that's thingy. I can call no this one and invest. Uh, uh, invest into this one. Like yeah, we will burn through this very very quickly. <laughs> As you can see, like it gets expensive quick. Uh, five. This is ten, so this would be expensive. Can I do this one actually? I can. Ooh, okay. So and we have some left, so we can spend it maybe. Um, one five zero. Um, this is just one. So let's get that one here. Uh, this is just one, this is ten, this is ten, um, I don't know, like, let's spend it here, but this is the thing that we go with, and this could be last one, okay. So yeah, we just spend anywhere, basically, so we have the options later on to switch wherever we want. Uh... I believe... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
we also found two uniques. Oh, let's check it out. I don't know what they do. I don't know. Mastery damage cannot be decreased by upgrades anymore. Orb of Dark and Master Cooldown Time cannot be increased by Oh, holy moly. This is insanity. It's like completely changes your build around. It was uh, this one. And there was no. Uh, it is for the shield. Yeah. Oh man, that's actually crazy. That's really powerful. I wonder if there is something for our. The, like other skills. Gold is fine. Increase gold is collection radius. Oh, that's actually really helpful. Okay, this can go here to the other collection, but that's actually a really good thing. Huh. I wish I could have that on my gear right now. Uh, maybe, maybe later. Like, I'm gonna craft probably and change stuff so we can get... Uh, yeah, like, this one is much better than this one probably. So I just want to change some stats, but that will be in the crafting episode. I will go for more uh, magic quantity and magic quality gear and like change few things here and there. But I mean, if I want to upgrade anything to legendary, <laughs> that's like almost a million. So I can do it only for one. So I need to pick and choose what I want to do and tailor my build to it. But I think because this one is really good. This is going like nowhere probably. This is absolutely insane gear for the mana. And as you can see it's plus six and it gives a lot of mana on kill and mana on hit multipliers. So this is stacked. This is really useful for a mage or like at least this kind of uh, effect for the mana because you want to have as much as you can. So yeah, uh, I'm still gonna continue with the weapon but as you can see here, I touched those two, I got them to level 10 and I was thinking, and this one could be actually good for this build, I don't know like how it goes with the damage because obviously you won't have that much mana regen, but it's, it's really good I think because if we use a lot of mana and this gives like a huge regen for the mana, then it equals up, I think, so that could be a thing. And also, yeah, I still need to level this up further. I mean, it's going, but slowly, and that will be like someday, someday, I, can, I can't do that. But until then, we are gonna keep up our weapon, because damage, we need damage. <laughs> So, yeah, I think that's it for now. Yep. Okay, so thank you guys for tuning in and see you in the next one.